Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Whoa, check it out. 6.30 in the morning. I'm up and yawning. Getting ready to check out of this hotel in Florida. Leesburg, to be exact. Headed on to Stop 2 on the convoy across America with brownells and of course, uh... Be a official, badass official. Time to check out. Gotta meet Josh and Ryan downstairs. Check this out. My, uh, kind of like my EDC, right? You don't really see everything. You don't see that. That's already on the hips. So I got that here. And, uh, down here, what do we have? Let's go through it. Chapstick. Very important to a brother. Gotta have the chapstick for the lips. Oh, the keys. Can't can't do jack without the keys. Um okay, air pro, that can go in the bag. <laughs> keys! Also very important. Lots of various keys on there. Uh -huh. you saw the chapstick and the bang stick. This is the uh the extra mag for the bang stick, so there you go. All right, flashlight. Everyone should have a flashlight on them at all times. This is the Olight, uh, what is it, H1R. There you go, uh, rechargeable joint. Okay, so put that in there. Of course, you gotta have some kind of uh, knife on you. That's a CRKT and a car business card wallet. Putting that in there, regular wallet. Pay for stuff. Put that in the other pocket. Uh, SD cards, that's coming too. Keys, don't really need that. Watch, this is, uh, let's flip it over this way so you can see it properly. NFW, you guys can look that up. This is the Valor, and it is an automatic watch. Very nice, just got this, testing it out from NFW. Nice frickin' watches with, without the frickin'. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Let's see, can I get that on the wrist? One wristed. What? Yes. Okay. Time to get the rest of my stuff. Head downstairs. Canic Fanatic guys here ready. There you go. I think the camera's gonna fog up here from the extreme humidity outside of the hotel room, but. There you go. Um, this is called, uh, what's what's that filter that makes you look more beautiful? Soft filter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. I, I call it the Hank Strange filter. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that is a broken filter. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan in front of us. They're leading the pack. I don't know if you can even see in the mirror up here. You can see behind. It's Nathan. Back there, Canic Fanatic guys behind. Josh in front. I'm in the middle. In the middle. Only in the middle. This is a little like idea of what's going on here. We are headed over to the East Coast. I think we're taking I-95 and going up Fayetteville. We're going to the Bright Light Brewing Company. Um, I think our event's at 7 p.m. this evening. Mr. Guns and Gear is going to be up in there. North Kakalaka. That's Guns and Gear's territory. So we're going to get to hang out with him. He's like, uh, he's a really good dude, man. Always supported me. Um, yeah, you know, in my, uh, in my tenure as a YouTuber, so really good guy. Look forward to seeing him up there. You know what? I figured while we're here on the road, nothing much going on here on the road, just your, just, this actually just looks like, uh, you know, your regular work traffic type of situation going down here. 
have a conversation about something in the news since I'm not doing, you know, obviously we're not able to do the Who Moved My Freedom podcast while we're here on the Convoy Cross America. Not able to uh, do what I would normally do there. So I figured, you know what? Let's talk about something in the news. So, in the news, Sasha Baron Cohen. You guys know about Sasha Baron Cohen. You know, he did movies like The Dictator, Bruno, etc. Sasha Baron Cohen is a con artist. He likes to dupe people. Um, and he's in the news lately because he has duped some what we can call conservatives, Republicans, some pro-gun people. It's in the news. You guys should uh, check that out. It's uh, very interesting. Don't just read what we're saying on our side. Obviously, on our side, we're pro-Second Amendment. We're conservative people. Um, and there's things in the news media that we look at. And I get that. I think, But I think what you should try to do is look at other stuff that's going on out there. Just actually look at what um, Sasha Baron Cohen has put out. I believe it's a, it's a show. It's on Showtime. And if you look at it, because, and the reason why I say this is I think some people were out there, uh, I know Rob Pincus of Red was out there warning people that this kind of stuff was going on. And then there's some other people, uh, Pincus avoided this, but there's some other people who actually got caught up in it and, and they're out there saying like, oh, you know, we knew something was going on, blah, blah, blah. But if you actually look at the footage of that Sasha Baron Cohen put out there, and I know, I know that when you create something, you can edit it and you can create any look you want, right? You can edit what people say and try to manipulate uh, the words that are in their mouth to a, to a certain extent. But if you look at the stuff that's out there, these guys said it, man. The things that they put out there, these guys said. How does that happen? How do you get conned like this, you know? I think it can happen to all of us. Ask yourself, tell me, comment in this video. Have you ever been conned? Have you ever been tricked, duped, bamboozled? I know I have. It's happened to me a couple times in my life. If you're, if you're a human being, you're gonna live in this world. If you get to live a good long life, you're gonna be conned a few times. How does that happen though? The best con artists know how to play on our emotions, our desires, our ego, things like that. So I found that it's easy to con someone when you you make it seem like they're smarter than you, okay? When you get them into that trap where they think they're smarter than you. When you stroke their ego and say, hey, you know, you're so awesome, we'll do all this stuff, we would love to have you do this and that. Um, when you pretend, not just pretend to be like them, but you pretend to be even more extreme than them, you know? So if you look at us in, in our community, what are those kinds of things that people do that sometimes they, they con us and they get over on us? Not just this actor slash comedian con artist, dude. I think there's other people out there that are conning our community all the time, that they're getting over on us, bamboozling us. You know, they know we're patriots. So they use that against us. Whatever it is you are, it's like judo or something, you know. Instead of trying to come in there as the opposite of us, they're like, yeah, let's just pretend to be these guys. If you look at what um, Cone did, he, uh, or Baron Cone, I don't know, uh, you know, SBC, I guess, I don't know. But if you look at what he did, he, he dressed up as a uh, Israeli, you know, Israeli tough guy, pro-gun guy and all that. And he was talking to, I believe he was talking to Larry Pratt from um, GOA, a place that I support. And he got this guy to do some ridiculous things, if you look at the video. And he got him to do it by playing up to this image and... You know, like I said, everyone could be conned. I could be conned, you could be conned, everyone out there could be conned. And I think that we should take this as a lesson. There's a moral to this story here if we if we really look into this that 
we can use and look at other people in our lives. I always try to relate it to like, you know, I don't believe that these movie monsters we see really exist, but you can, you can kind of like, you can see some of this in, um, you can see vampires and werewolves and things like that out there in people and the way they act. And what I mean by that is like a vampire, uh, vampires are those people who, who feed off, like for in our case, they would feed off our community, right? You know, werewolves are, you know, are Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, people who pretend to be one thing and then they're this thing. You know, they might be a really nice, well-mannered person, but when they, when you flip on a camera or something, they pretend to be a badass, or vice versa, right? All these, all these kinds of things exist. So like a werewolf would be someone who, you know, seems to be like a normal person and every now and then they just like flip out on you when the, when the, when there's a full moon or whatever. So, not to get too sidetracked into that. I think that we have those kinds of people inside of our community. It's not just people outside that are capable of conning us and bamboozling us, pulling the wool over our eyes and taking advantage of us. There's other people like that in the community. And what they do is they stroke our ego. Okay, they, they, they look at, they know the things that, that we believe in and they play that to the extreme. They make us feel like we're the super intelligent ones and um, and they're not so smart, but they're subtly maneuvering us and pushing us in, uh, in directions. They play all the same games that con artists play. They pretend to be other people. They put on, uh, you know, they put on clothing. Like you ever heard that saying, a, sh uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing? Sometimes it's the other way around, like I said. So, I think all of these are dangerous. I think people like Sasha Baron Cohen are dangerous, and we should always be on the lookout, and you should know, and you should have your own compass, something that tells you when something is wrong. And, you know, and, and in the case of a lot of these guys, I think in our community, as well as others, people don't, they're just not aware of other things outside of their community. Right? They get myopic. They only see what's going on in the community. And that's what makes it, if you see that, if you only, if you have tunnel vision, it makes it very easy for people to get over on you because you don't see all the other things. So you can, you don't realize that this guy's an actor and he's in disguise and he's got makeup on and, you know, those sorts of things. You don't, you don't realize that that's happening to you or you don't realize that something that he's telling you is ridiculous. Or in the case of, of what I saw when I actually went and looked at the show, Larry Pratt did some ridiculous things that no one, I don't know if he did this all on his own and he had no assistance or no one around him that said, hey dude, don't do this. But it's, believe it or not, it can happen to all of us and it has happened to all of us. Someone or multiple people have bamboozled us and we all need to stay on the lookout for that. Not just the enemies outside of our community, but the uh, vampires, werewolves, and other various monsters, zombies, etc., that exist within our community. Let's be on the lookout for that. Okay, I don't want to get too preachy. You know, obviously it's just me. Usually I have other people to soundboard my stream of consciousness off of. I thought I'd share that with you guys while I'm out here on the road headed towards uh, North Carolina. Take a break for some food. Gotta eat. A man has gotta eat. Oh yeah? Um, this is probably like my second time or something. Eating at the Sonics. So, so there you go. This 
uh, let's see what everyone's driving. So this is a Pontiac Grand Am. Grand Prix. Grand Prix, Grand Prix, there you go. It's a firearm fanatic. Nice to be uh, yeah. So you know who they are. When the Popo, they can't run. Uh, they can't yeah. run. <laughs> see me, I could just hide in with all the other R8s. Yeah, no right? No one, no one. So low for all you want to see. This is like the 12th right? Suburban we've seen like this today. So. I know, I know. These guys are really stout. Yeah. Really I almost got behind a different one. Yeah, I know. That's I was like, where are these bastards? We're just Obviously, Ryan is not afraid of the popo. Uh, yeah, and also a number four. No, 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 just a sandwich. Just a sandwich, apparently. Josh has whatever it takes on there. Really, Josh? Is that for real? Whatever, whatever it takes. Anything else? Anything. Please. So, well, someone's going to have to explain to me what 5% is. 5% is the uh, belief of the 5% of the population in the world who are out there willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their dreams and their goals. Oh, okay. So, so you, you might, definitely part you of might the be in there, you just don't know it. Yeah, you just exactly. don't know it. That's that's part of it. Now you know it. Now you know it. And make ARs great again. Make Damn your it. AR great again. Woo! Yes. <laughs> now, now you know something. We, we both learned together. All right, so I am getting tired. Very tired. I'm supposed to be meeting these guys at uh, south of the border, if you know I-95. South of the border, that's a landmark spot. I'm a couple of miles out of there. So I'm supposed to be meeting the rest of the convoy over there. Making our way in right now, south of the border. Here we come. We might get deported. Here we go, south of the border. If you don't know, now you know. Let's see, so. Keep left and then keep straight. No. Now keep straight and then follow I-95 north towards Lumberton. I will not comply. Okay, so Please make a U-turn now and then turn yes, slight yeah. right. There's someone's car right there. Alright. There goes the Canic Fanatic guys. You can't miss that car. Sheesh. Okay, look, check it out. Brandon. 50 AK guy. Look at this. She's in a little bit of rough shape. We, we put her through the ringer. But. Yeah. Um, no dust cover. No dust cover yet. Yeah. Yeah. But we got a CMC trigger in it, dual recoil spring assembly. So that's just a regular AR trigger in there. Uh, standard AK trigger. AK, sorry. So this is, uh, it takes a standard AK for our control okay. group. Okay. So you could you could do like one of those binaries or something. Oh, if you're crazy, you absolutely yes. could. Okay. And um, all right. So how far? Like, what else do you have to do now? Sure. So basically, what this was, this prototype took us from our first round fire to dialing and cycling, to mag feeding, to extracting, to ejecting. This was our demo gun. This is where we learned all the stuff. Right. Now we get to make it pretty. We get to make it run really well. Yes. We get to do like durability testing, all the really fun stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna sex it up. The V3 model is the one that's coming next. We're working okay. on machining that right now. And uh, I'm excited for the future. How of many it. rounds have you put through this one, Brandon? Uh, only about 100 or so through this one. We had a oh. bit of a heat treating okay. issue, a little bit of a galling issue between the bolt and the uh, barrel extension, which yeah. was a good lesson learned, but she cycles fine when it's not firing. When it fires, they like to stick. And that oh, okay. was the problem. Okay. So it wasn't like it would explode or anything, yeah. but. Right, moving along. Okay. We're not gonna stay out in the streets too long. We're going into uh, Bright Light Brewing. Yeah, before we get the cops yeah. called in this downtown Fayetteville. This is Brandon's neck of the woods. If I get arrested, Lola? I know a couple guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We'll see whether or not that helps me. <laughs> we'll see if those that's, cards were that's real. That's gonna be either really good or really, really bad. <laughs> Check out this bike right here. That's badass. Euro sidecar. There you go. This one's for Walter. Walter's gonna love this one. Look at that, Walter. You missed that one, Walter. You missed it. I think you have one of these, or one of the clones, but yours is not exactly, uh, not exactly done yet, so. But that's very nice, very nice. Yeah, I would wait before you Okay. Perfect. Uh, 
Your camera? I have it. It's just that's not here right now. This is exclusive Mr. Guns and Gear footage right here. That's it. You won't see this anywhere else. Indeed. What's up, man? Long time. Indeed, it's been yeah. long actually. What was it? Like NRA? I can't remember. Seems like a long time to me, dude. What's up guys? How's that? Holy cow. That is insane. This is uh this is where I get in trouble with Lola for breaking the breaking the diet right here. Check it out. Beer and pizza. Diet broken. But uh it feels good. It feels good. So, a couple of things. Number one, my name's Josh. This is Ryan over here. Hello, Josh and Ryan. And uh on behalf of Brownells and Badass Official. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with a bunch of hoodlums that you may or may not know or you may or may not have seen on the internet doing all kinds of shenanigans. So thank you for that. Uh, secondly, um, there's a couple of things. A lot of people picked up some VA official shirts. If you have those on uh, or you picked one up, I need you to put it on and come up front by the bar with me. And we'll talk about why that is in a minute. So if anybody, I see you got one, boy. Come on up here, hang out with us. Uh, does anybody else have one here that's still here? Yay? Oh yeah, you do. Come on up. Anybody else got one with them? I are you? Cool. Yeah, grab it and come up front. What we're gonna do is I'm actually for, for Bass Official, which is a massive account, wonderful dude. We're gonna all gather in and we're gonna cheers. Uh, BA official nice. and uh, what we're gonna do is I'll film it and we'll have these guys up front and we'll very simply say on three this is how we badass and we'll all toast and take a drink you guys down with that oh, yeah. well that was the weakest yeah. shit ever oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what I'm going to have you do is all kind of come together right in this general area for me. So get get off your asses and come up here. Get let's do this. And get off your Woo! asses. That's right. Get a drink too. Sure yeah, if you, if, you got, if you don't have a drink, feel free to have a drink. Brian, I have to ask you one question. I'm eating pizza. Is it is it possible that Josh has a Napoleon complex that he has to like get up on stuff all the time? I think that's entirely yeah, that's, possible. That's what, that's what happens when you're a yes. homunculus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, oh, I, I notice, I'm noticing a pattern here. Josh Mike, has Mike, to, Mike perhaps has an opinion on yeah, yeah. yeah. that. Have you noticed that Josh has to climb up on stuff? Yes, that's yes. yes. amazing. Mm -hmm. He is amazing. <laughs> that's right. He's somewhat muscular. Uh, 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 Squeeze it in tighter. Act like you love each other. We're yeah, family here. That's the way it works. What I need from you guys is on three, I want to hear all together. Yes. Oh yeah, come, oh, on yes. up here. come on up here. That's money. And you got a beer. Right yeah, you can. No, you're right, right there. there. <laughs> right over here, you get in front of me. What? You don't jump in right here. Right here. All right, all right. what I want to hear is on three, okay? I want to hear, this is how we badass and everybody toasts and have a drink, okay? One, two, three. This, this is how we badass! All right, let me make sure I got it, because that would really suck, okay, right? All right, <laughs> all right, let's do take two now and really mean oh, it. Oh, no, we got it. Yeah, all right, right. Well, I got it. <laughs> we need to have a good time, meet good people, and bring the 2A community together to support one another, because often we ended up with uh, some big divides. 
There's no reason for that. We're family, we're here to hang. So let's shake every hand in here. If you have it, make sure you do so. So we're about making friends and becoming family. So thank you guys very much. Have a great night. Woo! You don't have to come down, Josh. You can stay up there. No? Do I have to like disrobe yeah, or anything? Yeah, no, I know, I know what you just want pose, to do. Just pose, just right, pose. Right. Right. Yeah. Pose off. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> I think that might have been the magnum or the... Josh does not believe that I'm gonna go back and edit this. You don't believe that, do you? No. You if should. I... You need sleep, Hank. Sleep. Big Daddy Josh says, get some rest, man. We got a long ride tomorrow. Okay. All right. Are you Are you driving? No. Are you gonna be my co-pilot? I mean, I could. Okay. I heard I could, stories about I could you. Hank. <laughs> I heard stories. That's all I'm gonna tell you, Josh. Means. <laughs> I was forewarned. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be a good time. To talk about that. <laughs> I was forewarned about you driving. <laughs> yeah, we'll I don't drive. That. But don't we'll drive. we'll get Josh in there. We'll actually do an interview with Josh in the car. I got it set up for that. Yeah, we'll, so, we'll get that done. Yeah, and you know, Brandon's not coming with us, so we can't. Of course, you put the camera in my face when yeah. I got a big mouthful. Of yeah, it's yeah. Time. Because all those ladies just think you're sexy all the time, and my mission is to fuck that up as much <laughs> I as can, possible. I can be sexy eating pizza. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> professional. The Brandon that's, Herrera. That's called professional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And one Please more time. Don't that in. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Yeah. One more. Yeah, Josh. Where, where did he go? Oh, where does he run off? Josh. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. Josh had to go. Here, I'll show you guys one last time. Check this out. The 50. The 50 AK. There it goes. It's still smoking. Dick pics. You need some dick pics. Uh, no. No. Th thanks, thanks for the offer, but no. <laughs> I appreciate it, but you know. <laughs> yeah. He needs I still haven't. I thought you were gonna forget that. If we're doing dick pics, we need DM slider. <laughs> yeah, where's DM slider? With? I think he's slick. He's right sli yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's slick. He out of here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there you go. So we're just talking about him. All right. So anyway, so that's it. We're at uh, Bright Light Brewing Company, Fayetteville, North Carolina. The party's still going on. Day <laughs> two, killed it. Yeah, Day two of Brownells Cowboy Across oh. America. <laughs> yeah, we don't stop. We don't they don't stop. stop. All right, I'm out of here. Actually, let me do let me do my outro. All right, so might as well just do the outro now. That's it for this one, Fayetteville, huh? Hey. Oh no no no! I'm good. I'm good. I'm a professional. That's what I do. Uh, okay, so thanks for joining us again. This is stop two. The next stop that we're doing is going to be in Alabama tomorrow, Talladega Speedway. I'll bring that to you guys. Um, thanks to Josh and Ryan. There they go. Just joining in. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And uh, maybe we can get guns and gear. We can get. There he goes. All right, guns and gear. Taking off. We're signing off. Good seeing you, man. I miss you. <laughs> All right, brother. Yeah. We're out of here. <laughs>